You put in here organic good vibes. Bitch, you are so stupid. Trinity. That wasn't organic. <laughs> it was 2%. <laughs> Happy Rue Year and welcome to a brand new season of The Pit Stop. Is that? Oh, wait, a, a brand new year, RuPaul's Drag Race, which got it. Good start. Good start. <laughs> Happy Rue Year and welcome to a brand new season of RuPaul's Drag Race, which means more pit stop. And listen, you don't gotta adjust your set, girl. It is me, Monet Exchange in the flesh, which means there's finally a pretty host of the pit stop. <laughs> Ding. We'll be recapping season 14 every week with amazing Drag Race alumni, and this week is no exception because we have my twinner in the building, the fabulous, the gorgeous, Trinity the Talk. Hey, girl. Hey, squirrel friend. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here with you. I'm so happy that we're doing this together. I know, one episode. One episode, you know, they could have made it the last one, but they made it the first because you're the best. Oh, you're the best. Oh, thank you. We were just buttering each other up. <laughs> So how are you? How has life been? What's the tea? I'm great. It's just great to have another year of Drag Race, bitch. It just, it keeps flowing. I think the fans are gonna gag that the two of us are sitting here together doing this because they swear we're enemies. Oh girl, let me tell you something. The new year has been really great so far. You know, um, I've recently found love in my life. I know, he's so cute. Oh girl, do not butter his biscuit, girl. Do not put no battery in his back. No, you're, you're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're finding love. Me? Am I? Uh -huh. On Grinder. <laughs> I love a good meet and greet, M E A T and greet. <laughs> I miss meet and greets. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Before we get into the meat of season 14, we do need to address the tie for the final time. They keep on asking us, what are your 100% honest feelings about the tie? The more time that has went on, I love it because there's not another tie. Bitch. Like, we are in history. History, honey. Yeah. When they do gay education in school, our pictures are going to be right up there in the queer history section like... And we're in the Country Music Hall of Fame, too. With Casey Musgraves. <laughs> yes. Have you seen it on the... We don't have the rights to that yeah, song. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. All Stars 4 does feel like it was a million years ago, because there have been a million seasons of Drag Race since All Stars 4. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, should I go back for season 15? Oh my God. Would you have auditioned for like a regular season? No. Now it's the time. I have like some drag daughters that are fierce. I'm like trying mm. to push them into it now. I'm, I don't have any drag children. My, my, my tubes are tied, barren, <laughs> broke, busted, and disgusted, girl. No. Oh, wow. Do you know any of the queens competing this season? I am familiar with Carrie. I followed her on Instagram for a while. Fierce, 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 beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the cast as a whole, though? They're very young. The oldest queen is 31. Wow. They're really young. <laughs> I know, right? I feel like I could be their dad. <laughs> <laughs> So this season is a split premiere, so we're getting half and half. I like the split season because it gives screen time more to more of the girls. You yeah. can know them before they get eliminated. Yeah. There's nothing worse than going on Drag Race, spending all this money, and you get this much. So splitting it, at least we're getting to see a lot of someone's personality and what they could bring, even if they go home early. Yeah, and they always do something, when they do these split premieres, it's always something different. So yes. I'm excited to see what they do. Let's talk entrance looks, shall we? Yes, I love looks. How they came into the room. First up, Alyssa Hunter. She looks beautiful. I get the theme. It's a play on her last name. Uh -huh. I, I think it's a little muted for me. Correct me if I'm wrong. I may be going super game nerdy here. She's giving me Horizon Zero Dawn. All the nerds are like, oh my God, Monet, that look. So if it's this cosplay I'm thinking, I love it. If not, I think, like you say, it's it's interesting, but not my favorite to enter, enter the workroom. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't play video games. Next up, Bosco. First of all, love the name Bosco. Do you? I do. I love when a queen has just a one word name. Uh -huh. Her entrance look is killer. Love it. Yeah. I think it was a really strong entrance look. I love, I love the makeup, that fun brow she did. Yeah. And I think it's like a strong statement you make on your first look. Polka dots, I mean, not everyone can pull up polka dots. Cornbread the snack jeté. Okay, bitch. To me, she obliterated the entrance. Obliterated? I, I think That's so. That's a strong word. I feel like she's, to me, one of the few big girls to come on the show mm -hmm. that knows fashion, like yeah. real fashion. She's got a cinched waist, big hips, lovely mug, yeah. hair. I just love it all. I love it all. She seems like she's gonna have a good time. The personality is there. 10 minutes into the first episode and I'm already in love with her. 
Willow Pill. Okay, well, first of all, what, do you, so what do you think? Okay. This girl looks like she is going to her appointment at Claire's for her nose piercing. <laughs> like, I'm like, what is this entrance? Like, this is like your statement to, not even America, to the world. The world is watching you, and you're in this. I kind of live. You I, live? I, I, not that she, it's, it's wrong. Uh -huh. It is awful. It is not a good look. It is off the rack. It is terrible. Burn it, throw it away. <laughs> but I love it because it's so wrong. She is very confident with this oh, outfit. super confident. So I, I'm kind of living. Is it fashion? <clears throat> no. Whatever you feel about it, it is a moment. Like you, <laughs> you think, you feel, you have some reaction to it. Well, I like this moment to be over. <laughs> Let's talk Carrie Colby. Done, team. You think? In the face, she's beautiful. beautiful. Love the hair, love the colors. I love that what she's representing is herself. You automatically know when she walks in mm -hmm. that she is a proud trans woman yeah. and she is here to slay. I don't love the look as a whole. Yeah. I feel like the extra fabric, especially in the front, is in her way. Yeah. But that aside, she is a goddess. Yeah, the silhouette of this outfit is not my favorite. Right. But I love everything that, she, that it stands for. I yes. love that she's making a bold statement. She's like, I'm coming in, I'm a proud trans woman, I'm wearing the colors and doing the thing, and she looks great. She's beautiful. June Jambalaya. Um, okay. <laughs> so. It's looking up for me. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> From here up. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Yes. What? in gay hell is happening from here down. Here's the thing. I can't tell if she's trying to do nude illusion. It's pink, girl. It's pink. Ain't, that ain't nobody's skin color. It's like pink, white girl nude. If it is nude illusion, and if, even if it's not, the outfit is just not strong. It's not a great first statement to the world, like this is who I am. I don't get what this says about her. It says comfort. <laughs> yeah, it says, if she probably heard these are long days and I'm just gonna come in in a onesie, bitch. And last but not least, this episode was Orion's story. Beautiful. One of the other girls said it. She looks like Lana Del Rey. Oh, yeah, for sure. I yeah. get Lana Del Rey, and she made it all herself. Yes. Orion made all of this stuff herself. I love this. I think it's really cool. I will say I hate fingernail gloves. I'm not a big fan of nail gloves either. Yeah. But I think Orion looks great. The hair is great. I love the cloak. I love the body. It Absolutely. all looks stunning. Uh -huh. She looks great. Yep. Who had your favorite entrance look? To me, hands down, cornbread. I do also really love Bosco's. I like Bosco's too, but for some reason, I really like Orion's. I, I mean, I also love Orion's. I it love Orion's good. a it lot. It is good. Not my favorite of the three, cornbread, for sure. Your least favorite look. Bitch, you better say, you better say it. We probably think of different ones. To me. Okay, on three, okay. let's see. One, two, three. June. Willow. You think June had, uh, Girl, that onesie, honey. Okay. I can't, I can't. So Rue enters the workroom and he says, in spite of it being a split premiere, someone will be going home. Mm. Do you think the queens are scared and they believe him? Bitch, they better be scared. <laughs> Girl, you, you you going home the first episode, bitch. There's another premiere next week. I know. You're gonna be forgot about. I know, that means in two weeks, like in the premiere, we're gonna lose two queens. Well, I mean, we normally lose um, two queens in oh, a matter true. of two weeks. I guess that, yeah, too, yeah math, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I mean, I'm even blonde. <laughs> <laughs> so we begin with a very familiar Drag Race mini challenge, which I love. I never got to do one. I'm so bitter, so jealous. A photo shoot. The queens are strapped to the spinning wheel and spin around. Does that wheel look familiar to you, Trinity? First of all, I am so glad they brought the photo shoot back. Oh, right? It is, it is like a drag race old school staple that I've missed. They changed it on your season. Season nine was the first yeah, time they didn't do it. I know, and I really wanted to do one too. Yeah. I mean, although I'm glad because girl, they don't Photoshop that. I think that's the the spinning wheel that they use every year to pick who lip syncs against each other. On um, season nine, I, triggered? What, what I want to know <laughs> is how that held up those girls. <laughs> I know, because that thing must have been double wide, ringing for staples, <laughs> a sh shellac spackled. How do you think you would have done in this mini challenge? Well, of course I would have slayed it. Hello, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, of course? Which queen stood out to you in the challenge? Cornbread. Cornbread. Girl, because yeah. first of all, how did that wheel hold her up? <laughs> and second of all, that personality, girl. Personality every so, time. Also, Carrie, girl, so, Stunning. Yes. 
So Kerry Colby wins the first mini challenge of the season. Absolutely deserved. Deserved. Congrats, bitch. Yes. Next, we see all the queens de-drag, which I, I love. One of my favorite moments of the season. There are going to be some beauties and some <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Do you have any fun de-dragging moments from season nine that you remember? Yes. Well, it wasn't actually for me. It was the moment after one of our runways, Valentina couldn't get off her Madonna oh, moment. Oh, yes, the black thing. The, yes. Yeah, yeah. And so she asked me to help her pull it off, and I was like, well, girl, it's going to hurt, so you might as well rip it off like a Band-Aid. And so when I did, she just screamed in horror, and I loved every minute of it. Ah! Oh, so the queens are immediately commenting on how young Willow looks de-dragged. Do you think they're underestimating her? I definitely think when you look at someone and you judge them based off of their appearance alone, mm -hmm you're automatically underestimating somebody. And I don't know much about Willow yet, yeah. but I am intrigued. There is a lot under the surface. Yeah, something about Willow definitely wants you to peek into in more and find out more about them. And I think that's a very powerful tool in drag. So for the maxi challenge this week, the queens are performing in the Charisma, Nerve, and Talent Show. They're doing a talent show in regular season. That's crazy, because you think all stars the girls have had experience with the show, mm -hmm. so they have to come back with something amazing. Uh -huh. Not for a regular season, not I for the know. first day, bitch. The first day. I can't imagine what I would have done for season nine. Like, as I'm a lip sync queen, I clearly, you'd, what? I would have been eliminated. <laughs> I know. Before we talk about their talent show, what are some of your memories from our talent show on All Stars 4? I was really surprised Gia did not win the talent show. I agree. Yeah. I thought it was so good. Girl, so what up? My second favorite memory was Pheromone busting her ass. I was oh my like, God. That was, you know, I was like, girl, embrace the fall, iconic. living it. But it, it, it's iconic, right? It's iconic. I, I've seen the memes so much times and it never fails to get me chuckle. Before the talent show starts, Rue does a number and bitch, I am gooped, I am gagged. I love when RuPaul dances and RuPaul takes the moment. The fact that she started out doing choreography with dancers around her, a new song, looking statuesque. Snatched. Girl! So the first guest judge of the season is the fabulous Lizzo. You can tell that Lizzo really loves drag. Girl, right. she loves drag and we love her, bitch. Right. She looks incredible. The hair. The body. The body. Girl, the look. when she came in the workroom and she showed a little ass, I was like, yeah! I know. And she's a good judge. She is. I famously went home on a Lizzo song. I went You home. did. I went on Good As Hell by Lizzo. Aww. And you know, it's still up for debate if I deserve to go home, but that's neither here or there. I had a blast performing for her. Because when you're performing for Lizzo, she's just sitting there, she's like. Oh, yeah. She was so into she's the Lizzo. She's so into it. Yeah. Yeah, love mm -hmm. it. OK, let's quickly go through the talent show and give our thoughts and opinions. Yeah? OK, yeah. June Jambalaya's African Dance. I actually loved it. There are a couple of messy details like mm -hmm. the panty and the thing falling down but I still could not take my eyes off of her because the technique was amazing. You got this beautiful African outfit made why not get someone to make you shorts or pants to match it so that you it is all so you don't see the control top pantyhose underneath and also bitch when something is going wrong in drag just lean into it. The headband is falling down bitch pull it down. Make pull it, it down to make a necklace. Make a necklace. Yeah. Make a choker. That would have made it seem less manic. Yeah. I would have felt like She's in control of this performance. Bosco's burlesque striptease. First of all, she looked fantastic. Uh huh. I loved the outfit. Yeah. I loved the petals that came off. To me, though, there have been some incredible burlesque numbers. If you don't have something super memorable, it's just kind of just safe. Yeah. And so I thought it, she looked stunning. Loved the the petals. Other than that, it was just safe. I did love the little rose in her butt when she turned yeah, the, the, the little reveal. Yeah. That was... But if you gonna expose that ass, bitch, you better have an ass. I know. And also, I was like, this bitch don't got no cakes, but she was holding that rose up. I was like, she must have a tight grip back there. Girl, she must have a big old <laughs> piece of duct tape <laughs> to hold that. Alyssa Hunter's rock and roll lip sync. Okay, she looked fantastic. I loved the overall look. It was kind of confusing with 
her entrance look because she says that she's a pageant queen and then she has like this rock and roll aesthetic. So again, it doesn't really give me who she is. Yeah, I did not like this number. She was saying, I'm gonna play the guitar and then right. she didn't really play the guitar. I was like, girl, dang, there's no chord to this guitar, there's no amp. Bitch, you're not playing the guitar. So don't don't gaslight me about this mother guitar playing. Yeah. I know you not playing it. Yeah, well, I mean, and if you ain't gonna play the guitar, at least break the I know. Am I allowed no. to say Yeah. Okay, yeah, at least break the <laughs> Like, yeah. Carrie Colby's jump rope to Anaconda. First of all, again, stunning. She looks beautiful. I didn't love the hair. I love the face. I, I can't get past the face. The face is so beautiful. Yeah. I was expecting no, to pull all the stops. Bitch, where was the double dutch, honey? Yeah. Well, you couldn't even see the jump rope. Bitch, in my mind, she was doing an imaginary number. I, did, I never saw a rope, and she was jumping, but I ain't seen no rope. But she can do no wrong with me. I, I'm still obsessed with her. Even I, the hair. I I don't even remember the hair because the mug was right. <laughs> right. I, I, she's just so stunning. True, she's so beautiful. Let's talk about Orion Story's trail of her aerobic. <laughs> Girl, Trailer I, Park, did you like that part of it? Girl, th this, first of all, <laughs> you, Mona. Yes, I am white trash and no, I did not relate. <laughs> it wasn't funny. Yeah. Okay, if you're gonna do a character like this, you gotta make it funny, girl. It yeah. was not funny. Both of us have done the saggy titties thing. This was the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. It just, it didn't go anywhere. What I liked about it, was that it was different than what anybody else, and no one else did like comedy. Like it was, it was kind of like a one-woman show comedy kind of bit routine. So I liked that it was different in that way. The jokes just fell flat. Let's talk about cornbread, the snack, Jate's lip sync. Fierce. Great. She had so much facial expression, something I can't do. So that's a talent. Yeah. And I just loved it. It was fun. The energy. She was on it. It was. I loved it. And you know, and Michelle Visage was saying that she didn't understand what she did. I was like, I was listening and I heard it. I, I got every word she was saying. I didn't I didn't see any, I didn't hear anything missing. I love Michelle, but girl, come on. Last but not least was Willow Pill's Enya self-care performance. <sighs> Let me get my tits up, because I need to really think about this one. I was confused by it, and the judges were all really like raved. I didn't fully understand what was going on. I did not understand it. It was not. I did not understand it. Yes. That was that was the biggest thing for me. What I will say that is great about it is that I am interested to know more about Willow. That, that part. She pulls you in because she's weird mm -hmm. in a great way. Who was your favorite performance? Oh, Cornbread for sure. Yeah, cornbread. It was good. What about who was your least favorite? Let's just call it what it is. The worst one, hands down, was the trailer park, Orion's, Story, girl, I, I was not buying the story. I know, mm -hmm. yeah. It is between, for me, Alyssa and Orion, and yeah. I'm, but I'm gonna go with Orion. Next, it is my favorite part of the episode, the runway. Love the runways. Me too. The runways are always so good. And fashion. Fashions, honey. First up was June Jambalaya. I love this. Okay, she kind of has redeemed herself from her entrance look mm -hmm. and from the things that were mistakes in her talent because this to me is absolutely stunning head to toe. To me, beautiful. Loved it. I wish that the fabric from the bodysuit went and covered the shoe to make it look even longer and just yeah. like one full complete look. Yeah, I could see that. But overall, oh, yeah. stunning. Great. She looks stunning. Beautiful. She spent money on this. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Bosco. Loved Bosco. <laughs> She Wait. makes me. You sound like you're saying the department store Boscovs. You know Boscovs? No. <laughs> it's a department store of Boscovs. Every time you say Bosco, that's what I'm hearing. I'm I trying not to lie. Bo it is Bosco. It right? is Bosco, but you sound like you say Boscovs. Oh. You, you never been to Boscovs? No. It's like it's like Macy's. The, uh, it sounds like a cookie. <laughs> I love this look. Now I'm starting to see her aesthetic. She makes me horny, baby. <laughs> I, I'm loving it. It's dark. It's, she looks gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Clean, simple look that told us exactly who Bosco was. Yep. Yeah. Next up was Alyssa Hunter. Girl, expensive. Bitch. This is expensive. Feathers. Beads. She let us know. She was like, these are not chicken. She said, these feathers are not from Popeye's. Uh -uh. These feathers are ostrich, honey. Yes, No bitch. chicken. It was beautiful. It I was loved really it. great. I loved it. <laughs> um, next up was Carrie Colby. 
I like the fullness of the coat. Yes. I like that she incorporated letters from her name yeah. into it. Again, she's still beautiful. One thing I'm getting a sense of is that she likes human hair, flat hair. If this is the whole thing for the whole season, I'm gonna get bored. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, this look was not my favorite. I was, I was definitely, especially coming from her drag mother comes from the, the pageant world. Yep. And, you know, I feel bad like judging her against her drag mother, right? Well, she said it. I know, she made, she, she, she did it. this on the show. She told us, I come from a lineage, and I want to tell you that I'm the fiercest Colby. So I was expecting more for her for her signature look. Orion's story. Horton, his, and Orion. Bitch. What was this? I don't know. Let I... me, okay, let me find something nice to say. <laughs> Keep that in. Let me find something nice to say. I don't get the cotton on the fingers. I don't get the three tits. Maybe she explained it, I just did not catch it, but I was not a fan of this look. What I think happened here is that, you know, some queens want to be creative, uh -huh. and they have an idea in their head that, oh, girl, this is gonna be it. Uh -huh. And it was not it. It, it was. It yeah. was. It was it. <laughs> Especially after her entrance look. I know, it her was, so, look was good. so good. And then her makeup in her entrance was so beautiful. And then this. I don't get it. Yeah. Nope. Next up was Cornbread the Snack Jeté. Bitch. Down. Fierce. Fierce. I wish she had like a headpiece or like hair underneath that to give it some height. Yeah. But other than that, she is beautiful, oh, serving sure. face, body. It is expensive. She came here to win. I am in love with Miss Cornbread. Yeah, Cornbread, I love this look. Bitch, she nailed it. Girl, this Cornbread is seasoned. She, she <laughs> yeah. Do you season your Cornbread when you, when you cook it? Girl, absolutely, <laughs> right? bitch. I am from the South, honey. Yeah. I put seasonings in everything. Girl, I, I put seasoning in the shower. I, I put seasoning everywhere I go. I, I, I like. Do you douche with seasoning? No. Yeah, you gotta put just a little <laughs> in there. Girl, that make your booty hole burn. Uh, but it's a good burn. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Back to cornbread. <laughs> Loved her. <laughs> and last but not least was Willow Pill. I actually like this look. For best drag or, or, or drag eleganza, yeah. I don't know about that. This would have been a perfect entrance look. Oh, right. She just wore this into the workroom. Yeah, room. I actually love the color green with the navy so. and the hair. She looks great. Is it the best she could have done? No, yeah. but I do like it. I don't hate it. I do agree with you. I love the fabric she chose as well. She has this vinyl. Yeah. This vinyl covering her whole body. Like, I love all of that, the whole story of that. But yeah, not for signature drag. Though. Yeah, I feel like no. it could be something different. Who had your favorite look? I'm really torn between a couple of the girls because the, the runway tonight was amazing. Great. But Cornbread again, she just, she just handed it to the girls. I'm just like, wow. I wouldn't want to compete against her. What about who had your least favorite look? Do we have to answer that? <laughs> I mean, it is obvious. It is obvious. I mean, I don't know. Let, let the children know, Trinity. Girl. Oh, on three. Let's say, let's say it together. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, Ryan. You shady ass bitch. <laughs> so, after the judges' critiques, we find out that the winner of the very first episode of season 14 is Cornbread. Do you agree? Oh, hands down. Yeah. No questions asked. Take the money. Run. <laughs> yes. Five thousand dollars. Girl, deserved. But unfortunately, that means two queens have to be in the bottom because someone is going home. As yep. for Mama Ru, and it's June Jambalaya and Orion Story. Do you agree with this bottom too? I agree with one bottom. Orion for sure. I, I just I, I just think this was not her episode. Yeah. June, I don't know. I mean, if there was other girls I would have probably maybe put her in the bottom over her. Yeah. I would have definitely put Alyssa over June in the bottom. Yeah, I mean, it was a toss up. So June and Orion, again in the bottom, and they lip sync to Water Me by Lizzo. Yeah. Did you like the lip sync? June mopped the floor with Orion. Do you? I do. No. Orion was boring Mo boots, Girl, honey. mopped the floor. Mopped the floor. Mopped it <laughs> with her face. Okay, let me find some nice words. <laughs> Don't think this was Orion's night. It just wasn't, the yeah. performance wasn't there for me. And June was confident with the song and it showed. And she did it. I think June did a really good job in the lip sync. Obviously, she turned it, but I also liked the weird things Orion did. I think I got a better sense of Orion's drag in this lip sync than I did throughout the entire episode. Such a congenial answer. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you know, as someone who has lip synced to Lizzo on RuPaul's Drag Race before, can't confirm it's intimidating to do it in front of her. But you just gotta like just be free and do what you can to say. Because you know this, I mean, because you, yeah, you have lip syncs on the show. Yeah, I only had to lip sync for my life once. Once. Ooh, weird flex, okay. June clearly edged out Orion and deserved to stay. Yes. So, Orion is the first queen, sadly, to sashay away on season 14 of RuPaul's Drag Race. How do you think it is to be the first queen? I mean, obviously we have one every season, but that must suck. I would, I would, ugh. I My advice to her is take what this moment is uh -huh. and turn it into something big. Just because you're the first one gone does not mean it's the end of you. Look at Banji. Yeah. So make this into lemonade. Out of the 14 seasons, one girl has done it, so it's definitely doable. Your girl, she had three titties. Sell nipple clamps. Merch. What? Idea. Who has three nipple clamps? <laughs> who are your early favorites so far? Like, who are you rooting for already? I am totally Team Cornbread. Team Cornbread. Bosco. Bosco, yeah. And Carrie. Carrie. In my mind, right and right now as I see it, it's either Cornbread or Willow to win. Okay, let's just agree. It's Cornbreads to lose, okay? Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> to be continued. Trend, this was so fun. It was fun. Thank you for stopping by and reviewing and critiquing these girls with me. I love reading people with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. My twinner now and forevermore, amen. I uh, know, all stars four, bitch. Yes, honey. They can't top it. Ting! That's a little... <laughs> Sound effect. <laughs> and thank you all for watching The Pit Stop. Listen, this season is going to be fierce. We have some fierce guests stopping by. The girls of season 14 are everything. It's going to be major. I'm your host, Monet Exchange, and I'll see you next week for episode two of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14. While you're doing that, I gotta stand up because my, yeah, my balls are hurting, sorry. <laughs> you know, does anyone hear no boss coughs? No, it's like a department store in like, it's, it's in the Northeast. Ain't nobody heard of that Really? Everyone knows Boss Calls. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.